Hello friends, this is Miss Mary, and I'd like to share a story with you today. It's about my favorite bee, and the title of the book is called Bewigged by C.C. Bell. Hi there. Jerry B. loved people. But people did not love Jerry B. For one thing, he was a bee. For another, he was the most enormous bee anyone had ever seen. A sting from a bee Jerry's size would really hurt. So people stayed away. It's true that Jerry was quite large, but he had never stung anyone in his entire life. But nothing worked. Oh, how do you think Jerry looks in this picture? One morning, Jerry saw an old wig lying on the sidewalk. Why not, thought Jerry, and put the wig on his head. Just then, he heard a bus driver shout, Young man, you're late for school. The bus driver stopped her bus, opened the door, and hollered, Get in! Jerry got on the bus. Wow! This wig makes me look just like a boy. As Jerry looked at himself in the mirror, he had a wonderful thought. If he looked like a boy instead of a bee, maybe people would finally like him. So when the school bus stopped, Jerry made a beeline for the school. He couldn't wait to make friends with all the people inside. Jerry entered the first classroom he could find. Excuse me, ma'am, he said. My name is Jerry, and I would love to join your wonderful class. And might I add that you are looking quite lovely today? Miss Swan was the first friend Jerry made that day. The students really liked Jerry, too. He was helpful funny, artistic, and generous. He was even a terrific speller. Friendship, F-R-I-E-N-D-S-H-I-P, friendship. By the end of the day, Jerry B. had more friends than he had ever had in his life. So Jerry decided to come to school every day, and every day he made more friends. One day he helped the janitor. The next day he complimented the lunch ladies on their food. Yummy, yummy, Jerry said. Jerry inspired the cheerleaders with his remarkable team spirit. Go team! He even won over the bus driver. By the end of the week, everyone loved Jerry so much that they made him the Grand Marshal of the annual school parade. Jerry B. was ecstatic. He couldn't believe how much the wig had changed his life. Then the wind started blowing hard. The wind blew Jerry's wig right off his head. He tried to catch it, but he was too late. Everyone saw Jerry without the wig, and everyone saw that he was the most enormous bee they had ever seen. Wait, shouted a voice. Please wait. It was the wig. I am Wiglet, 
a very hairy guinea pig. I have had the honor of sitting on Jerry's head for a whole week. Yes, Jerry is a bee. Yes, Jerry is enormous. But I have never seen Jerry sting anyone. Jerry is helpful, funny, artistic, and generous. I am proud to call Jerry my best friend ever. Everyone was quiet. And then, <gasps> hooray for Jerry B! Hooray for Wiglet! Hip, hip, hooray! Everyone shouted. It was the best day of Jerry B's life. At last, he could be himself and have friends. And Wiglet would be his best friend forever. I hope you enjoyed that story. Have a good day. Bye-bye.